Welcome back to Lens Studio. In this video, we're gonna see how to use assets from other template and use them in our project to create a diorama effect. By using assets from other template, you can save so much time to create your favorite lens. First, let's save our project by pressing Command S on Mac or Control S on Windows. Then select where you want to save the project and hit save. Now let's close our project and go to Lens Studio home screen. Click on all templates and let's take a look at the cutout template. Cutout template lets you create a word lens by using 2D images. Sounds familiar? If you look at the objects panel, you see there is an object called cutout controller edit me that control the placement and visual of the 2D object. Let's click on that and see the options in the inspector panel. As you can see, we can change the texture, ground offset, shadows, and more. This is exactly what we need to create our lens. To export the object, click on the cutout controller, edit me, and select export object. Now select where you want to save the object and click on the save button. If you look at my desktop, you will see a file called cutout controller edit me.lso. This file contains all the data from the cutout controller edit me. Let's close this project and open the project we were working on by selecting the file open recent project or in CD, which is the name of our project. Now, in the preview panel, I'm gonna switch my camera to back camera using this button so I can work on the word side of the lens. In this way, we can test our lens on the ground, which we call it word side. Also, if you wanna check it on a person, you can again switch back the camera to the face side. With this feature, you can save a lot of time by trying your lens inside the lens studio instead of pushing it on the phone and testing it every time on the phone. We're now ready to import the LSO into our project. Simply drag and drop the file into the objects panel and wait for a couple of seconds. Now you can see the creature showing up huge in the preview panel and it's not tracking with the video of the word in the preview panel. The reason is we don't have any device tracking attached to our camera. The device tracking component moves or rotate the scene object to match the device orientation. So if we put the device tracking on the camera, it means that our virtual camera will move with our device, which will allow us to go around our scene and have our object track to the world. To add one, select the camera in the inspector panel, then click on add component button and search for device tracking and select it. Now you can see our creature is locked to the world as our camera moves around. Let's go ahead and change the texture on this creature to one of our textures. Select the cutout controller and in the inspector panel, click on texture input and then select the one of the texture that we imported earlier. You'll notice that there is a problem here. That is, we cannot see the shadow of my object getting casted on the ground. To fix this, in the objects panel, select the directional light object and then in the inspector panel, check the shadow. This will designate this light as the light source for the shadow. You can see when I move my light, I still see no shadows on the ground. The reason is we need to add the shadow plane to our scene to receive all the shadows from other objects onto it. To add one, click on add new in the objects panel and search for shadow plane. And now you can see the shadows working. Now you can duplicate cutout controller object and do this for each texture. You now have a word lens started shaping up. See you all in the next video.